Hello everyone, and today we're going to be looking at a new tool called Site AI, which will help you find the best research papers for your topic, and at the same time, show you the exact statements with the citations and where they've been made in that research paper. So the first thing that you need to do is go to Site AI for Research, or you can look it up in Google, and once you do that, it's going to ask you to log in. So let me just start off by saying that this is not a free tool. Um, everything that I show you in this video is using the upgraded version. You will be able to use the free tool for seven days, after which you have to enter your credit card details, um, and then you'll be able to use the tool. Um, so this is a video to show you the, the features of the tool in case you decide that they're useful for you. So after you've signed in, you'll have an option to do three things. You can ask simple questions and get the reliable answers. So many different research articles. They can actually help you get unblocked and you can uh, give you guidance for certain areas that you want to write, like some controversies in the field that you're specifically focusing on. Or you can actually uh, use site to find a source for a specific sentence or a place that you want to um, to cite in your research paper. So let's start off with just a general question, just to see how good it is at giving us the information that we're looking for. And I'm going to write here, what are the models of graduate employability? So this is an area that I've been looking at, and I just want to see if it comes back with relevant information. So you uh, enter that, and it takes a little bit of time to load. Um, before it gives us then a summary of the response that it's come up with, and then we'll see how it looks at the citations as well. Okay, so it's come back with this response. Let's have a look. Graduate employability models encompass various frameworks that aim to enhance students' readiness for the job. And then it cites Pool and Seoul, which is a very important citation when you're looking at models. And it cites Jackson as well. So already a very good start. So what we can do is we can um, click on the actual reference and it will tell you where it's bought this reference from. So we can see that it's from the abstract and then it gives us a bit of information. It tells us this, this uh, paper has been cited 652 times. Um, there's 12 supporting citations. There's 476 citations that mention this work and that there's about three contrasting citations and also i've got this reference the same reference here i've got it here on the the right hand side <clears throat> again with the same panel and i can go and view the reference full text if i wanted to and then get a feel greater feel of you know what is the citation about um, really really useful now if i keep scrolling down I can then see the second reference, which is here, Jackson, 2016. And then I've got the uh, where this specific word has been mentioned. What site does is that it uses these keywords to show you exactly where the statement has been cited. And that's why they call it citation statements. And it talks about the, the different models that they've cited here. Okay. And it tells me which, again, which paper and then the uh, edition on the paper. And I can keep on going on looking at different references and so on. So the summary is important and it gives you a good indication of some of the models. I'd say it's extremely brief. So I would definitely not rely on it if I'm looking for extensive research. But what you can do, which is really, really good, is go to uh, that is run to ground this response. So if I click on that, so now I can see, for example, that there are other graduate employability models. That I should be looking at. So here, Tomlinson's model, which is one of the most important models that I know in the field. And then we can look at how Clark has uh, integrated the model as well. So this is ideas that I can start to explore. Um, and then it looks at the integrated employability model. And it tells me where this was found, which is in Cook's paper. Uh, if to go into further depth and, and find out a lot more information, then go to where they obtained that information from. Um, so if we go back here, um, you can also look at the view publications consulted, and then it will tell us exactly where it's gotten that information from. So that's the first thing that you can do with site. Now, the other option that go to assistant settings, and you can choose um, and set specific um, limitations for the results that you want. So for example, I can choose the, the, the year range that I want. I can select publication types. Do I want it to be a book? Do I want it to be an article? Just or the reference style that I wanted to bring it back in. How many publications, the journals, so many different things. So that's quite important when you want to be um, quite accurate in, in what site returns. 
And the next thing I can do is if I go back to the assistant and I go back to the main page, is I, I, can, I can find the source for a sentence that I'm looking for. And I really like this because sometimes when you're writing, say, an essay or if you're writing a discussion section, you want to find a supporting statement and you want to say previous research has also supported my findings, which is this. So I'm going to find the source for the following sentence factors are positively related to graduate employability. And I'm going to enter that. Okay, and now we've got the response and let's see what it says. So it says social factors have been identified saying crucial role in enhancing graduate employability. And then it tells us who's done that research, research by Chen, 2017, highlights that social networks contribute positively to the formation of graduate employability. And how amazing is that? I can just take the, uh, my results and say, um, for example, my results show that social factors that are positively related with graduate employability. This is also supported by previous research shown by Chen 2017, um, who have found that social networks have also contributed to positive graduate um, formation of graduate employability. So this is really helpful in writing these specific sections for your research. And if you wanted to find a contrasting statement, then you would say, find a contrasting statement for, and then it would find it for you. So I find that extremely useful and really it can supercharge the way that you write your essays by having all these references and statements um, directly available for when you're writing this section. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how you can actually use a site to search for a specific article or a specific keyword. So if I'm searching for a specific model, let's say Tomlinson employability model. So let's see uh, the results that we come back with here. Found like several articles that relate to that. Let's say I choose this one and I'm going to click on it. This becomes the article of interest. And what that means is this page will show me all the different places and where it's actually been cited by in other publications. So this article has been cited by 278 different publications and there's a total of 309 citation statements. And I can see where it's been cited. So for example, um, this model has been cited here in the discussion section. It's also been cited in another discussion section, um, discussion, introduction, introduction by uh, Benati's um, article, so career planning and workforce preparation. And the good thing about this is that I can quickly scan these different citation statements and see, you know, what's been said about this model. Um, and do I have mainly supporting statements? Do I have contrasting statements? And how I can use this critically in my uh, writing up my literature review, for example. And on the side panel, you can see the different features. So for example, I have here, I can order the citations by relevance. You can also least cited and so on. You can also search for citation statements within a specific section. For example, let's say I'm focusing on discussion and I only wanted that section, then it will just bring up all the uh, statements where it's been mentioned in discussion. You can also look at, you know, supporting. Mentioning is always going to be the most. There's no contrasting in this case. Um, and then I can use the citation types. Um, I can specify the type of article and so on. So the other great thing about site is that it can visualize the citation. So if we click on that, it will take us to this visual that shows us how different articles have cited the article of interest. And we can see the green color indicates that there's supporting statements. The blue, as you can see here, is that there are contrasting statements. And in this particular article, we don't have any specific contrasting statements. And the gray is just mentioning. And this is the general picture that you get if you don't click on the mentioning, but if we click on mentioning, obviously it will get us a lot more references. So how can I use this visualization? Well, although it does seem like quite a lot, but I can quickly scan the different references. And if I find someone that I know quite well, and I want to look at what this main article, for example, by Tomlinson has said, and how it's that uh, is referenced, and I can just click on it, and then it will take me to this left panel, which will tell me, will take me to the exact citation statement and will show me how Tomlinson has referenced this article, for example, by Jackson and Wilton. So very quickly, I can get to see how my main article has referenced the other articles, how it's mentioned the other articles. I can click on it. So I've clicked on this one here, and then I can just open 
click on the plus button here and what it will do is will it will split that node into another visualization showing me how the second option just remove the mentioning ones uh, so we can see the split and it shows me the other articles that are referring to the Jackson articles. So this is really useful to help us visually map out the different authors in the field, especially relating to the articles that we're focusing on. So the other really useful thing about site is using their custom dashboard. So to do that, we're going to go to product and find the custom dashboard. And then we're going to start by searching for the keywords that are important for us. So for example, I'm going to search for graduate employability and skills. Okay. And then you're going to see that it's returned about 672 results. And so what I need to do next is go to the export results and click on that and then click on export results. So once that's downloaded, I'm just going to open it up and then I'm going to click on it and I will have the CSV file. Okay. What I need to do once the file has opened is that I need to remove all the other information because in the custom dashboard, it will only allow me to, to upload the DOIs. So I'll quickly just delete the rest of the information. Okay. And I can save the file. Uh, now once I've done that and I've saved the file, go back to site. Okay. Now, if we go back to our custom dashboard, and create a new dashboard. Okay, do employability and skills. And then we're just going to write here articles on graduate employability and skills. And we're going to just upload here the CSV file that we've just saved and then submit. And now if we look at our dashboard, you can see that we've got 672 articles. Uh, we've got the 347 supporting statements. We've got 16 contrasting ones. And as we mentioned, the mentioning um, are usually the most citation types. And then there are several corrections here. So I need to be careful to click on these to make sure that I didn't use the paper without looking at the corrections. And then I've got the site index as well, which is quite useful. It tells us that it's calculated by the number of supporting sites over the number of supporting sites plus contrasting sites. So it just gives me a trend of what's happening in this field over time. So maybe in 2019, had a bit more um, contrasting statements. Um, so that would be interesting to look into. And then it tells me about the main authors in the field. So I could see that Jackson is um, an important author in graduate employability, and I can click on her name and look at the articles that she has authored, which is quite useful. So I can get a quick impression of who is important and I need to be looking at in my field. So that's the custom dashboard, which is really helpful and you can create custom dashboards for different sections in your literature review uh, to help you as you go along. The next thing that I want to show you that's really useful in site as well is that if we go to the reference check and here it gives you an option to upload a document. So for example, I'm going to choose a file here. here I'm going to choose a manuscript that I have. Okay, um, and this is just a general article that I found and I can conduct a reference check on it. And what that does is it will return the results and it will tell me if there are any problems uh, with the uh, references that the paper has. Now that it's finished uploading, I can click here to see it. And you can see that it has 148 references, but there are two references with some editorial concerns. OK, and then it tells me what these concerns are. So the first one here, it, I can clearly see that this is a retracted paper. So I'd have to stay away from this paper and make sure that I don't cite it in any of my work. And here that this one has a correction. So if I click on the paper here, it will take me directly to the retracted paper. And then I know that, you know, this is the information. I should not be using this one uh, in any of my work. And the other thing you can do is you can download the site extension and you just need uh, to go to uh, the site download extension. And then once you've downloaded that, it will bring up this bar here. And then automatically you can see for every single article, the number of citations that it's had, the number of mentioning uh, supporting statements, mentions, the number of contrasting statements. So that's really good as well because it gives you a very quick overview of the, um, the actual article and in terms of whether you want to explore it further or not. And then once you click on that, it will take you to the site page for that article and it will give you the detailed information 
that we looked at together in this video. Quite useful, and then it will bring up the statements as well if you click on it. So hope you've enjoyed this video, found it useful. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd like to know about Site. Um, and remember, it is a paid tool for you to get all these different features. However, it's really useful, and especially if you're doing uh, a lot of research.